Hi, it's David here from DP Computing. Today we've just got a desktop system. This one's a Lenovo ThinkSan. I'm just going to open it up and show you how to get into the hard drive memory and so forth. Uh, just a couple of word of warning, I suppose, before we start. Proceed with these steps at your own risk. Also, if you're wondering, these two things are just the tripod on the camera, so sorry about that. Um, as I said, uh, proceed at your own risk and please take anti-static precautions. Now there's two um, screws at the back, I've already removed those, but there should be just Phillips head which you can remove with a normal Phillips head screwdriver. Once they're off, there's a little handle, if you can see there, just pull that while pushing the little button up the top here. So the little button there, push that down and then you can remove um, the side of the case, or the top of the case I should say. And here we've got the internals, we've got the power supply, uh, the CPU fan, a little um, thing which we can remove. And under there we can see we've got some expansion ports, video card, CPU, uh, memory, and the CD drive here. Now first thing we have to do is remove the front fascia here. To do that there's three little black tabs. Just pull them up and the top should come out. And then once that's out, if you pull it up at the bottom, there's a couple, there's three more tabs at the bottom which you just need to get out. And put that to the side. And here we've got the CD drive. If we just remove the SATA cable and the power cable from there. And then we've got a little handle here. So if we just pull that up and slide it, you'll see at the side here and here, there's a little hole and you'll see at the side there's two little tabs and they'll pull up. Now to get the actual optical drive out there's a little purple button or purple little spot there just push that in and we can slide the optical drive out and that's just a standard SATA optical drive. Now we can see a bit more we've got the hard drive here and memory I'll just move those cables to the side. Now in this machine I have to get to the hard drive to put another hard drive in, so do some data transfer. But we've got memory here, the memory dims could be one, two, three or four. There's four slots there and at the side there's two little cream uh, tabs. If you just push them outwards the memory will pop up and there we go. And that's just normal standard um, RAM. On this one, it looks like it's DDR2. So to put it back in, only goes in one way because there's a little notch there. So just make sure you get it in right, push it in, and then those little tabs should click into place. Now I've got the hard drive here, and again there's a little handle for the hard drive, but we'll just remove the SATA connection and the SATA power. Just remove them, and now we've got a little um, purple bit, and it looks like it's all already cracked, but that shouldn't matter. We just need to pull this sort of up and across. I just don't want, oh, there we are. I just want to, don't want to break that a bit more, but just pull that across and up, and then that pops out. And we've got the hard drive there, which is in its little caddy. To get it out of its caddy, just pull out the sides and that should then pop out. Therefore we've got just a standard um, SATA hard drive. And there we can see a little bit more in there. So we've got a fan here. We've got the front USB panel here. The connectors, an IDE connector down there. And just the normal power. So there we go, there's a quick um, opening of a Lenovo Think Center desktop PC. Um, hope you enjoyed it and please leave any comments below and check out our other YouTube videos where we open up some laptops and other computers. Thanks again, I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.